the world's first robotic manipulator that has acquired the ability to learn human physical intelligence, why Walmart's large-scale experiment in deploying robots failed, or how people, thanks to creativity, managed to protect their jobs. Next-generation home vacuum robots can now not only clean the apartment, but also pick up items from the floor, open doors, clean up after pets, and bring any requested item to a person. The humanoid race is in full swing, with Chinese robots becoming increasingly advanced and vying for leadership in the field of robotics development. These and other high-tech news in one video. The Ambidex robot manipulator, developed by Naver Labs, has gained the ability to learn human physical intelligence. Physical intelligence refers to motor skills that naturally manifest in humans but are challenging to digitize. For instance, a person unconsciously understands how to spread jam on bread, but programming a robot for such tasks is extremely complex. To overcome this, scientists have designed a tactile device with seven degrees of freedom, mirroring the size and capabilities of a human hand, and a bilateral teleoperation system that facilitates force transmission in both directions between a human and the robot. Using this device, engineers were able to provide the robot with learning materials using various methods, such as reinforcement learning. This proved so effective that the robot could successfully perform the task on its own after just one demonstration. The Industrial Technology Research Institute has unveiled the dual arm system, featuring a robot with two arms made of composite materials capable of grasping a variety of objects, even those that are soft or irregularly shaped. Its control system integrates a multitude of functions from robotic software, thereby providing human-like capabilities for performing various tasks, including handling fragile items and playing the piano. Equipped with five fingers, advanced sensor technologies, and machine learning algorithms, the robot is expected to undertake a wide range of tasks in the future without the need for specific programs. Programming. While the robot is currently in the prototype stage, we will continue to monitor its development. Halodi Robotics has developed Ever3 as a humanoid robot for research purposes. It is a flexible robotic platform with a head featuring facial features, eyes and mouth, movable arms, and the ability to move on two wheels. Ever3 is approximately human-sized and can interact with objects similarly to a human, using its hands and multiple fingers. It can be remotely controlled through manual control or virtual reality, allowing the operator to take control of multiple robots if needed, a relevant feature for remote operations such as home care. Ever3 is also a equipped with autonomous behavior, capable of mimicking human tasks and performing them independently. The robotic platform will play a central role in a fully integrated healthcare solution. Currently, Halodi Robotics is developing the next version, Ever4, as a robotic solution that significantly enhances home care for users, healthcare professionals, and caregivers. Shenzhen-based robotics company Leizhu Robot has officially launched its first humanoid robot named Quavo, featuring the open-source Harmony OS. Quavo is a large-sized, high-dynamic humanoid robot weighing approximately 45 kilograms, equipped with 26 degrees of freedom. It can perform complex terrain, autonomous walking, sustained continuous jumping, and other challenging movements. Specifically, Quavo boasts a top walking speed of 4.6 kilometers per hour, with rapid consecutive jumps reaching heights exceeding 20 centimeters, making making it the first domestically developed open-source Harmony OS humanoid robot capable of jumping and adapting to various terrains. The emergence of large-scale models further advances the level of robot intelligence. This signifies that humanoid robots are on the verge of widespread commercial application, and Quavo will be initially applied in fields such as education, medical logistics, and home services. Dashu Robotics has unveiled its latest humanoid robot development, the XR4. The XR4 is a full-sized, fully functional, general-purpose humanoid robot equipped with the Darman Cloud Brain System and designed for use in various scenarios. The robot stands at 165 centimeters tall and weighs 65 kilograms, constructed from lightweight and durable composite materials. Its diverse gaits and movements provide balanced posture and dexterity in its hands. The robot features more than 60 intelligent, flexible joints and a walking speed of 5 kilometers per hour. The company envisions a future where the robot becomes part of our homes, caring for the elderly and performing household tasks. They also aim for these robots to be deployed in factories to replace assembly line workers. The official release of the robot is scheduled for 2024 and the start of mass production for 2025. 
Walmart's extensive experiment with deploying robots to analyze store shelves ended in failure as humans proved to be more effective, versatile, and inventive. The company attempted to implement robots from the startup Bossa Nova in all its stores. These robots were capable of scanning shelves, checking the accuracy of prices, and verifying the availability of products on display. However, humans still had to fix the issues identified by the robots. Ultimately, after increasing the number of robots to around 500, Walmart completely scrapped the experiment. Bossa Nova had to lay off employees and seek new investors. KimLab has finally realized the dream of robot vacuum owners. Engineers have equipped the robot with a plug-and-play robotic manipulator system, allowing the household worker to finally open the refrigerator to bring beer or gather scattered items on the floor before vacuuming. The use of an additional system ensures seamless integration of the manipulator, which can be easily attached and detached with minimal changes to the vacuum robot without compromising its initial functionality. In our opinion, this is exactly how next-generation robot vacuums should look. A robot arm adds a whopping 100 points to the functionality of any robot. In the U.S. Navy's Naval Research Laboratory, they are working on quadrupedal robots with a mandatory arm on their backs for sailors. The idea is to deploy the robot onto a ship and have it run around performing standard maintenance tasks. Currently, engineers are conducting basic tests in the laboratory, after which they will move on to more complex tasks such as firefighting or damage control. The main thing is that the robot needs to be autonomous and not require direct control. Engineers from the Italian Institute of Technology, already known to us thanks to the project of the four-legged, two-armed centaur robot, have introduced a new space robot. The three-legged bot, named MARM, will soon be able to perform maintenance tasks on spacecraft in orbit. In theory, MARM can carry out a wide range of tasks, but its primary purpose is to move on the exterior of a spacecraft, installing or removing orbital replacement units. The latter represent any modular components of the ship that can be easily replaced as needed. The robot consists of a rotating base resembling a pelvis and three articulated limbs used as arms and legs. Fixing mechanisms at the bottom of each limb grip hexagonal insulating tiles, covering the exterior of most spacecraft, securely holding MARM in place. This same mechanism can be used to replace tiles when necessary, as well as to charge the robot's battery and transmit data through docking stations outside the spacecraft. In the future, MARM will become semi-autonomous. For example, it will use built-in cameras to precisely place its feet on each tile during movement. However, when replacing ship models, a human will control the robot. Suzuki has introduced a personal transport resembling a wheelchair, but with four legs and the superpower to climb stairs. Four small wheels are attached to robotic legs, enabling a speed of 32 kilometers per hour with a range of 80 kilometers. Each of the four electric wheels is attached to a robotic leg with three degrees of freedom, suspended on a frame resembling a double boomerang. The chassis is based on a modular four-core architecture. Various objects, from a motorcycle seat to a wheelchair, stretcher, trash bin, robotic arm, or carrying basket, can be placed on top of these wheels. The Machba device looks more like a robot than just a chair. Climbing stairs with it will take some time, but the seat will remain in a horizontal position even as the wheels step over each step. The development will be useful for the elderly, medical professionals, and rescuers. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.